congratulations on buying a new Mac with Apple M1 chip. Hello all, I am Nikhil from iGeeks blog. This is a very quick video and sharing top 5 tips for MacBook Air and MacBook Pro with M1 chip. But before I share them all, I would like to request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Now, if you have done that, let's take a look at very first tip and which is adjusting the keyboard backlight. This newly designed MacBook Air with M1 replaced three function keys. The F4 key which previously opened the launchpad now brings up the spotlight search. And F5 and F6 keys which previously managed the keyboard backlight now activate the detection and do not disturb. One can manage the keyboard backlight by simply navigate to control center and here is an option for keyboard backlight. Adjust the backlight the way you want and give a try to the next tip for showing a battery percentage. MacBook Air and MacBook Pro with M1 chip offers a great battery life and does not show the battery percentage on the menu bar by default. But you can get back the battery percentage indicator on the menu bar if you want. To do that, click on Apple menu and select System Preferences. Now click on dock and menu bar icon. Then switch to battery side tab and check the box next to the show percentage. And boom, battery percentages are back. So if I continue to talk about the battery, then I should not miss checking the battery usage. <laughs> and this hack is simple. Just click on the battery icon from the menu bar and you can see a list of apps that are using a significant energy. Okay, moving to the fourth tip is for Safari. With macOS Big Sur, Safari runs 50% faster than Google Chrome and we all know that M1 chip beats those high-end CPUs and offers a great speed. So now, who needs a browser that eats up a lot of memory and uses a significant battery? Switch back to Safari and experience a great speed and help your new Mac to save battery life too. The next tip is also related to Safari like customizing it. You can customize the start page. Just select the customize icon from the bottom right corner and add or remove the controls or bookmarks or background images of a blank page or you can call a startup page of Safari tab. So those are five great tips but hey, don't miss the next two bonus tips and that is to find a list of apps that are natively built or in other words you may say optimized for M1 chip. I have recently created a video on this and created a list of 60 plus apps categorizing for developers, photographers, videographers, creators, professional and more. Don't miss to check it out. I'll add a link to that video in the description or you can also check a list of such updated apps on our website is appleSiliconReady.com. Oh, one last tip, to run your favorite iPhone app on your M1 Mac. This is a little bit tricky and needs a lot of attention and time. Again, I would like to suggest one more video of mine guiding how to install iPhone app on your M1 Mac. Check that out, I'll link it below in the description. And with this final tip, we have reached the end of the video. If you have any tips which are for M1 Mac, then please share them in the comments down below. I love to look at them all. It's time to say goodbye, but before that, hit that like and red subscribe button. I'm Nikhil signing off. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay connected.